Baby, it's cold outside. I hope I didn't offend anybody with that, but I don't care. Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Small Caliber Arms Review. It is a little chilly out here today, but I got to get out here and take a look at the Taurus Spectrum. It's a neat little uh, 380, a cool design on it, really modern, clean, smooth. It is a pocket gun and designed to be a pocket gun because there are no real snag points on it anywhere. Everything on here is smooth and uh, well contoured. It slips right in your pocket. Doesn't take up much space, doesn't really imprint that much. Uh, it's a great little firearm. It is a 380, and I've got a couple magazines here for it. I've got the uh, come with a seven round, and, or a six round and a seven round. They're actually the same magazine. The only difference is the plate that's on the bottom. And the plate for the seven round actually gives you a little place for your pinky to go on there. Neat little gun, uh, really cool design pretty comfortable in the hand. Now I did get to take it out the other day and do a few shots with it and I did find a few issues with it but uh, we're going to go ahead and film it this time. I got the target set up over here. This is a personal defense handgun and uh, we're going to give it a try and see how it does. All right the whole reason this firearm even exists is for concealed carry. Like I said it's a pocket gun. It slides in pretty easy. You don't even really know it's there. It's not big, bulky. It's easy to get out of your pocket because like I said, there's nothing that's gonna snag on anything. I got the old uh, you know, silhouette here and we're gonna see what we can do to this threat from seven yards away. All right, big dummy me forgot to push record when I shot those first seven rounds. Let's do it again. You can see I got a little tight grouping in there. Right in there. That's not bad. Let's, uh, let's throw another seven in there. Let's do seven in the head. Shoots pretty good. It's uh, really comfortable. Not a lot of recoil on it, at least not that I've noticed, but uh, I'm pretty used to shooting a lot of guns, so I always have to go back and think whether the recoil was bad or not. Um, little mag release here on the side. Pop it out. We'll throw the six rounder in there, which just has the flat floor plate on it. And one of the things I don't like about it is I've got nowhere to put my pinky, but uh, still, it, there's not a lot of torque on it that. Um, uh, muzzle flip's not bad. We'll give it another try. Not a bad little firearm. All right, like I said, I forgot to hit record when I did the first six rounds, seven rounds on it, but uh, we're going to take a look at the three groups I did here, okay? Uh, let's see. There was the first group I did right there. One, two, three, four, five, six seven there was two there and then the second one i did uh, seven rounds in the head one two three four five six uh seven a little bit a little bit low there i kind of missed and then the third group i did i was kind of aiming for the eight there but uh, not really taking my time and aiming one two three four five six rounds in that last magazine it is the smaller magazine so it only holds six on it um let's take a few more shots with it and uh We'll go from there. All right, I am shooting some uh, PMC bronze here. It is a uh, brass cased ammo. Uh, these are um, 90 grain full metal jackets. Little bitty 380s. Yeah, I've been through a few of them already. Um, geez, I've only got 10 left. Let's uh, let's put six in this magazine or seven in this magazine here. It's a little uh, tough to load up with these cold fingers. You see, I got snow all over my shooting bench here. And then I'll just take the little six rounder throw the other three in it. All right, this time I'm going to take uh, seven shots at the little tiny target in the upper left-hand corner there from uh, about seven yards away. Do slow and take my time with it and see if I can hit it consistently. Now that's one of the things I did notice about this gun that I'm not real fond of. It doesn't seem to want to release the slide when you pull it back. And the slide release on the side of it is is really kind of a pain in the ass. It's uh, real small. You can just barely get your thumb on it. Now, it's designed that way so it doesn't snag on anything in your pocket. But it just uh, doesn't seem like it has enough oomph to want to get it up in there. And it looks like we got a whole malfunction there, don't we?
Let's take it down to the bench and see what happens. All right, a little finagle in there. I got it to let go. So I got one in the chamber now. I'll step back and try it again. All right, let's take a peek at the shots and uh, see how they come out. All right, there's the little target, about uh, 21 feet away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got the flyer on there, of course. But uh, this is not a long distance gun. It's not made to be super accurate. It's made to uh, punch holes in an assailant should he, uh, should he be confronted with one. But uh, other than that, it's not too bad. The sights are really hard to see. Um, there's not much to them. I mean, they're machined into it. They're the same color as the slide, and uh, they're really difficult to get uh, get your eyes on. But uh, this is a pretty good gun to just point and shoot. You're uh, you should be right on target. I got three rounds left in the Taurus. I'm gonna go ahead and try for the hundred yard target. Nope, no luck. It's 100 yards away. I got about a, like an inch and a half barrel on it, so uh, the odds were pretty slim anyways. All right, we're going to do the tabletop review of the old Taurus Spectrum here. It's a compact, clean, smooth design, little 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 pocket gun. No sharp edges to snag on anything. Uh, that's probably your sharpest edge on the front sight there, but it's nothing really. Um, and it's a, a, a good choice for a pocket gun. Nice, small, compact, smooth, comfortable to shoot. Um, little 380. Um, it's it's a really nice design. It's all new. It's uh, supposed to be uh, designed, engineered, and built in the United States. It does say Miami, Florida on it, but um, most of the time Taurus firearms are made in Brazil. Uh, this one, they, like I said, the website claims that they are built, designed, and made here in the United States. I have a little 380 dummy around here, no primer in it, no powder in it or anything. And one of the things I've noticed, one of the things I don't like is when you've fired your last round in there, it'll lock open. Then you take and release your magazine put your next one in there. It would be nice if the uh, the slide release was a little bit bigger because you're not going to pull that down with your thumb. It's going to take a tremendous amount of force. Now luckily you can just pull it back and let it go. And with this being a true double action, you uh, have the ability to uh, you know pull the trigger enough times until that round fires. Hopefully you'd only have to pull it once and it goes. I did have one the other day that uh, did not fire on the first try. I just pulled the trigger the second time and it was go ahead and uh, it, it went ahead and shot. Pulling the slide back is kind of a pain, and if you do get one that you have to eject out of there because it won't fire for some reason, it's a little tough to get it out because that opening, that ejection port in there is pretty small. Now the empty shells come out of there pretty easy because they're small enough, but a full round, if you have to kick one out of there, it doesn't quite fit, so it's, it's a little tricky. You will have to shake it over and you know get it out of there, and then when you got your next one in, it's ready to go. Now with that being an empty magazine in there, the slide won't release unless you pull that down. Um, I'm not a big fan. I like the design of it. I like that they put the little rubberized grips in there, but I still don't get a real good purchase on it when I go to rack that slide. Um, sometimes it's a little tough. My fingers want to slip off of it, uh, especially if you got any kind of oil or anything on your hand. There's not a good positive grip to it. Um, I did notice it's a little easier if I hold it this way and slide it. Um, it seems to be a little easier for me. Um, my wife was the same way. She's got quite a bit smaller hands than I do, and it was tough for her to grab it and slide it too. Um, but both of us found it a little bit easier to do it this way. Um, if you're in a situation you're pulling this out of your pocket and you're ready to go, you want to, you know, be able to do it as fast as you can. And it will just release if you've got a round in there. We'll go ahead and put the dummy round back in there. And uh, you got it in there ready to go, and, and you're in there. It's, uh, it's in there. Um, with the empty magazine, it locks open. Like I said, it's hard to get a, a full round out of there, but a spent round comes out no problem. Both the magazines are the same. Um, even though there's a six round and a seven round, they're both marked six round. They're the identical magazine. They just got different floor plates on them. The flat one there is, uh, you know, just the six rounder. This one allows the spring to go down a little bit farther. And it's pretty neat the way they made this. There's a little notch right in there that you just kind of grab a hold of and pull that up. And then you can slide your floor plate off. Hang on to it because that spring will want to come flying out of there. Um, get your thumb on there, hold it in, 
slide your floor plate off. You can go ahead and pull the spring out, do any cleaning you need to if you dropped it in the mud or whatever and it got some dirt in it. Um, putting it back in is not really a problem either. Just kind of hold it in there and slide your floor plate back on it. And once you get it in there, push that in a little bit, make sure it drops down in there and that'll keep it from coming off again. The uh, regular six round is just like most other ones. It's got the little button in there. You push it in with something, slide it off. Disassembly of the firearm is really pretty easy. You don't necessarily need any tools, but if you take a, one of the rounds, you got this little screw on the front there. It only turns 90 degrees. There's a lock and an unlock on it. All you got to do is put it in there, turn it 90 degrees. It'll unlock. Slide comes right off the front. You're able to reach in there and clean everything up. Be careful with your guide rod and your spring because it's not a captive unit and it will go flying. Hang on to it pretty, pretty tight. Got a little bit of tension on it. You can see how much the spring is compressed in there. Take them out, clean them up and everything. Barrel comes right out of the bottom there, easy. It's a pretty simple little uh, piece to clean up. And like I said, it's not a very long barrel. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Uh, I guess it's about a two inch barrel on it, uh, which really makes it tough to shoot the 100 yard target like I was trying, but um, I mean, you can do it, you can get lucky. Reassembly. Just the opposite, slide it back in there, make sure that drops down in there. Be careful because the barrel rotates a little bit side to side there. And it can be kind of tricky when you go to put the uh, spring and the guide rod back in. Keep your fingers on it because it's gonna wanna wiggle around until you get it in place. Once you get the end of the guide rod back through the end of the slide there, push it down on it. And you can see that barrel rotates a little bit and it makes it kind of tricky to get on the back of the lug there. Once you've got it on, all you gotta do is take the frame and the slide Put it right back in there, slide it all the way on, and that screw go ahead and, will go ahead and pop right back into the lock position. And you're ready to go. I already got a magazine in there. Let's take the magazine out, function check it. Everything feels good. I think it's ready to go. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed my take on the Taurus Spectrum, a compact little 380 pocket gun. Uh, if you haven't, please hit the subscription button. Check out some of my other videos. Hit the notification bell so you know when I release new ones and share this video with anyone you can. Thanks for watching. Small Caliber Arms Review.